Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and good yeah. uh, morning to Nur Hidayu Rajikan. So she's here with us today uh, for a short interview. For your information, she's one of the ex students of SMK Agama Sri Said. Yeah. Um, so I'm here to ask her a few questions since uh, she's she's here with us today. It's not easy for us to have you here because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, since you're here, it, let's take this opportunity to to do the interview. Yeah. All right. So, Hidayu, um, what is your uh, what is your biggest motivation to get A plus for English? What is your biggest motivation? Um, wait, pause. <laughs> Sorry, my son is so busy. Okay. Okay, let's get back to the first question. What is your biggest drive to get A plus for English? Literally, my passion. Well, I put high hopes for me in this subject because people around me knows me and how I really like this subject. So. Of course, I need to fill up their expectations, but I also have my own expectations. If I don't study hard and I don't aim higher and then I don't do my best, then there will always be a person or someone around me who will study harder. <laughs> study harder and then they are going to aim higher. Then You're talking about competition. You're in, in an in a environment where you are com competing against your friends, right? Well, maybe. That's what we're talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where do we start? Yeah. <laughs> um, so your biggest drive is your passion. Yeah. Right? That is, of course, what pushed me to who I am right now. Mm -hmm. um, there will be always someone who's going to study harder and aim for higher grades. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be better than me. Mm -hmm. And I had the thought of losing, so why mm -hmm. not? Why not? Since it's my passion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. so your biggest drive is actually uh, your passion. your motivation, your passion mm -hmm. to do better, yeah. to be the best. And because I'm a nerd, <laughs> obviously a nerd. Uh, okay, so that means you, you don't want to give any room for other people to be better than you. Yeah, Since in this subject. Yeah. In, in, the, in this particular subject, which is English. Uh -huh. Okay, Okay. my question is, uh, the next question is, what motivates you to keep learning despite this pandemic? Um, because we know that during your time, it was the first year that we had uh, online learning. Mm -hmm. And then uh, right after that, we, we had our face-to-face uh, session in classroom and then back to on online learning so it keeps changing yeah. right so uh, in a way it kind of um, demotivates l most lots of students yeah. what makes you what motivates me to keep yeah what learning. motivates you to keep learning during, during this pandemic during the pandemic um, maybe Ow. for me and oh. I think for the Sorry. other students uh, I like to compete. Yeah. Like when the teachers do a lot of quizzes, mm -hmm. that pump me, that pump my spirit mm -hmm. to actually learn and study. Mm -hmm. Like I want to get the best result. Yeah. <laughs> and because of there's internet around me and I can use the gadget for self study. So it motivates me because there is a lot of things I can do and study more convenient and you have 24 hours to yourself. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, okay uh, you, during this pandemic, um, which is still ongoing up, up until this point, what is your advice to the students, especially the SPM students or STPM students who are still learning now, um, to keep staying focused? During this pandemic, this uh, our little assistant right here. Okay, baby, can you sit down? Sit down, sit down properly. Can you sit down properly. Okay. Okay. <coughs> the most important thing for mm -hmm. the students is to do their best. Mm -hmm. You need to do your best, mm -hmm. and even though you are doing your best, don't push yourself 
until I've been overstressed. Like mm -hmm. I saw a lot of suicidal cases, mm -hmm. students killing themselves because of not being able to take up oh. what they're studying <laughs> and you should not do that so you, your advice is just do what you can yeah. to the best of your ability uh -huh. but then don't overstress yourself yeah and okay. always enjoy always try to enjoy it every single day yeah. studying mm -hmm. what do you like to eat no <laughs> you want daddy to interview yeah yeah okay so what do you want yeah. what do you want to do Yes. Yes. Bow, bow, bow. So, Dayu, the next question is, what's your dream? What's your dream? My dream is to make something out of me. Mm -hmm. uh, I just thought about this recently, but mm -hmm. every day I feel so ordinary, mm -hmm. normal, and you mm -hmm. know, someone who blends in the modern society. Mm -hmm. So I thought that what if I have color on my own? What if, what if I can be not normal and still living my life? Mm -hmm. I dream of um, having interesting things happen in my life, mm -hmm. inside my life, in my entire life, every day and every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I want to do that, and I want that. I want to do that, and because of that, I want people to remember me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that will make me very happy. That's my uh, dream. Yeah. Your dream is uh, to be yourself yeah. and to, to be, to be to some, something great, so to be someone great. Yeah, to be something great. To achieve something great. Uh -huh. oh, that's, that's a nice dream. Any dream in particular? I mean, uh, what do you want to be, what, what do you want to be, or what do you want to achieve? Well, based on what I'm studying right now. Yeah. I'm on the path of being a teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, but I used to have the thought of being an astronomer. Astronomer? Yeah. yeah. That's been going on for five years. I've been holding back to that ambition for five years, but too bad. Oh. Yeah. That's my personal dream. Then this book might be just the right book for you. I see. Yeah, because it talks about uh, design and stuff like that. I've been, uh -huh. I've been a nerd since long ago, so because of my ambition, that my personal dream, I always go to library and read Encyclopedia's book ah. every day. Uh -huh. So you mean you you not you are nerd in in such a way that you read lots of books? Yeah, ah. but people may not know that. That's thing. actually uh, your strength. Which not many people uh, can do, right? It's very useful for general knowledge, I think. Yeah, it's actually, a, for me, it's a, it's a specialty and it's also a form of strength mm -hmm. that can um, build your character, your personality and also your knowledge. And that's, uh, that's, that's also one of the characteristics that, it, that is positive. And um, the last question is, what will you do when this pandemic is over and what are your hopes for the future? Obviously, as a student, I would like to go into the campus right away and avoid the, this kind of studying online things mm -hmm. because it's very hard and awkward to communicate with each other mm -hmm. and I don't get to live my life as a student, you know. Staying in a room where you face the computer every day is very boring. So yep. I like to go outside and live, just just live, you know, and finish the studying things fast, very fast, so I can make money. This pandemic has taught many people to finish their their works, or finish their studies early, so that they can make money and survive survive this pandemic you see a lot of people are being suicidal right now like mm -hmm. there's two, 200 suicidal cases for a day and that's very um upsetting for me mm -hmm. i don't want my future to be um stressed like that where i have no hopes or money to survive this pandemic mm -hmm. so if the pandemic is still going in the future 
I like to have money and survive. So people around me, um, I can help them. So I can help the people around me and help myself. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for your. For the interviews, thank you so much for your time. That's it. Um, <laughs> are the questions even, are the answers even make sense? You think? Uh, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Okay. Uh, hopefully, um, you will do well after this in your studies. Wherever you go, I hope your hopes, your ambitions will be fulfilled. Thank you. All the best to you, and uh, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Thank you, Wardubu. <laughs> okay. Well, right. Thank you very much uh, to Ayu. Uh, she's going back to Kningau. Um, all the best uh, for your study as a uh, TESOL student, right? Yeah. As a TESOL student, she's going to be a teacher. Uh, hope for the best. Assalamualaikum.